One day away from a special election to decide who will represent people in Bakersfield's Ward 5. Tonight, we take a look at what went into putting on this special election and what Ward 5 residents need to know before casting that vote tomorrow. The Ward 5 seat was vacated in January following the death of newly elected councilman Jeff Tack, leaving an empty seat on Bakersfield City Council. The council could have just appointed a city council member to replace Tack. Instead, it decided on a special election to let Ward 5 voters decide for themselves. County officials say that special election set for Tuesday will end up costing $143,000. Money that comes from the general fund and will be paid by the city of Bakersfield to the current county elections office. So who are the candidates up for the job? First, there's Ryan Nance, a local carpenter who says his experience as a builder can help shape the future of Bakersfield. A third generation carpenter, uh, I have my, my background's construction expertise. So as we're going into all these major infrastructure projects in our city, uh, I'm excited to bring my background and, and just be a, a blessing to our city. Next, there's Bruce Freeman, a retired real estate developer who says his experience of building some of Bakersfield's best landmarks gives him the knowledge to move the city forward. We have a good labor force with excess labor that's attractive to companies. We have a very good work ethic here. Then there's Noel Pinio, former Delano High School science teacher. An educator of more than 15 years says if elected, one of his first agenda items would be to get BPD officers body cameras and to restore trust between police and the community they serve. Holding the police accountable and making sure that the citizens are not afraid to go to the police. This map outlines exactly where Ward 5 is. If you live in the southwest Bakersfield area, you should have received a ballot in the mail. Those mailing in their ballots should have sent them off by now. If you haven't mailed it by now, you'll need to stop by a county drop-off site or vote in person the old-fashioned way. If you are voting in person, these polling sites will be open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. If you are still unsure of where to cast your vote, you can contact the elections office. And you can find that number to the elections office as well as the Ward 5 map and exclusive interviews with the candidates on our website, turn to 23.com. 23 ABC will, of course, bring you continuous coverage of that special election all day tomorrow.